Hello dear, so we're going to jump right in there. We're going to talk to chat today about uh, what Jesus has to say about himself. So there's a lot of speculation out there that people say different things about him like him's a prophet or him's a, a, a good man and all them things. But what does he have to say about himself? Right? We don't want to just speculate as to who he say he is. He never called himself a prophet. He never even called himself a good man. But he did say he's the savior of the world. Okay? And so we're going to get right on in there. But before I do so, I want to talk about the format of the show. It's going to change a little bit. And that we are going to be talking from a standpoint of the Bible um, mostly. Okay? Um, I'm going to come straight from what the Bible says with it. I was given that... Uh, suggestion by uh, Miss Lopez and I wanted to thank her so much for uh, that truth and I'm looking forward to that uh, implementing that critique. Yeah, so you don't just want to have uh, people listening to just what you have to say. Okay, get into the vowel. The, 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 the vowel is what is going to tell you all about what the Lord had to say for your life. Okay, that's who you want to listen to. Now, if she has something to say uh, uh, about it, you, you need to research it for yourself. For yourself. Okay, don't let nobody just tell you any old thing. Yes, my mom, I hear you. Yeah, I know you, I know you do hear me. I know you do. Okay, you need to listen to the Bible. That's what you need to do. <laughs> Got you, mom. Anyway, so we're going to jump right in. Um... Life is good. Um, life is really good. I'm in a very, very happy place with the Lord. The good thing about my being alone is I get to be closer to Him. You know, I get to see more of Him. Um, I've been in this alone valley for a very long time. Um, really don't have any family to speak of, really, to be honest with you. Um, trying to make, you know, family relations better, but as it goes... For me, my, my rock, my everything, my every existence is surrounded by not the love of children or the love of uh, um, a loved one, but rather the love of God has infilled me and given me evidence of himself. That's why I'm so excited about telling people who he is, you know what I mean? So the first, um, the first scripture comes from Matthew 28 and 18. Okay, so this, is, uh, this says exactly... It says Jesus ap appeared, um, appeared uh, in silence, and, and, and said in silence, um, breaking the silence, said to them, "All authority and power and rule in heaven and on earth has been given to me." So this is after Jesus resurrected. Okay, and he comes back and he's telling his disciples, "Go make disciples of themselves, because uh, go make disciples." Um, because I'm given, I have not only been given power in heaven and on earth, all power, all authority, but I now so I'm giving it to you. And that's the part that we get to, as people who are walking closely with Christ, get to see, we get to see that how we could walk in power and authority, right? Okay, so the next thing is, the next scripture comes from John. Um, John and 5 and 22. Now this one's very powerful for me because um, just hearing what this has to say was just, I'll tell you, it was mind-blowing. Five, John 5 and 22 says, he says, even the Father doesn't judge anybody. And I'm reading for Joyce Meyer Amplified Bible, just so you know. He says, even the Father, Jehovah, doesn't judge anyone, for he has given all judgment um, and all the business of judging entirely into the hands of the Son, me, Jesus. Okay? He says, so that all... Now, listen to this. Okay? So that all men may have... May, be, may give honor, reverence, homage to the Son just as they gave honor to the Father. I don't know about you. But that's a bold statement for me. You mean to tell me I'm going to praise you, Jesus, just as I gave praise to Jehovah? You're worthy of that? And the answer is yes. 
the answer to that is yes. He never stopped people from worshiping him. He never stopped people from praising him. Unlike the angels in the Bible, they wouldn't let people bow down to them. They wouldn't let people worship them. And three different occasions, just in my research in the last couple of days, I've seen places where Jesus never stopped people from worshiping him, even after he came back. Okay, so that was um, that was John. Okay, so now go to John 16 and 7 through 13. John 16, and this is good stuff. And this is where the rubber meets the road, guys. This is the good stuff right here because this is where you get to see Jesus showing out, showing himself. And he, we're going to start at John 16, 7. And he says, however, I'm telling you the truth when I say that it is good for you um, and it's advantageous for you that I go away. Because if I do not go away, the comforter, okay, the counselor, the helper, the advocate, the intercessor, the strengthener, and the standby will not come to you and have close, close fellowship with you. But if I go away, if I die, then I'll be able to send him to you to be in 